15 grand. Just on yeah. suspension. Whoo! Well, Dak, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. Well, I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Thank you. And nobody can hang with my stuff. Just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So I'm about to pull up an overkill performance right now. We're going to see what they got going on at the shop today because they always got something crazy at the shop. So let's go. see what they got going on wow overkill bead locks on the f8 green charger this one <laughs> he said this is what i need let's see what it is Those are beautiful. The gloss black and the polish. Damn. Those are hella clean. What do you guys think? Set so of those on the drift cat, or I should say the gap cat, because these are, it's going to be the drag race, you know, personality. So what do you think? These on the gap cat? These are beautiful wheels. I think they would definitely look really good on there let me know in the comments down below what you guys think just the conversion to fit 17 inch wheels or 15 that's 15 inch 15 wheels. so it'll fit 17 inch stock mm -hmm. so this is the the 15 inch conversion but this isn't a regular 15 inch conversion it's uh with the racing brakes full wheel wood setup aad suspension the demon struts uh demon uh demonizer springs in the rear uh full bmr lockouts um, so it almost turns this into a solid frame. Mm -hmm. And then all the suspension is upgraded to the custom Mincer drag uh, suspension. So this is probably like... I'm already knowing. These arms alone are tacked. Yeah, I think they're like 600 or so. Because I have the, the front upper control arms on okay. mine. And yeah. those were, I think, 1100? Yeah. 900 or something like that? Yeah, so I mean with the kit, uh, all this stuff is probably like... For both sides, it's almost like ten grand. Damn, just on suspension. Yeah, eight to ten grand, but that's <laughs> when you see the guys that are like, you know, doing the big style. That's kind of how they do it. And so then what we end up doing, we test fit it. We'll pull this off. We'll you know paint this, make sure all the rust stuff is all clean and nice, and then when we do all the rest of it, be good to go. I think I'm gonna bring the Grand National. This beauty. coming right behind it. Take a peek inside this Grand National. Thing is beautiful. It takes you right back in time. I wasn't even born yet, but <laughs> you can you can picture it, you know? wind flowing right through the mullet <laughs> this thing's gorgeous all original 3.8 turbo not all original i should say because it has upgraded gear turbo and stuff but yeah it's a beauty and we got this honeycomb thing next to it damn high riser intake and this thing's thing's got some goodies on it Nice little scat pack. 
Okay, with the neck pillows. Going crazy. What package does that green thing have? Because it has all the upgraded suspension, so I'm guessing. Uh, I mean, that at that point, it's not even really a package. I it, mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much just, Built, built. Yeah, just a full ridiculous build. So it's like, I mean, theoretically speaking, the setup that's on that originally was going to be um, ported blower nitrous etc etc but now it's going to be something a little bit more crazy so you, you'll be able to see <laughs> some of the later ones we'll get some uh so what are you thinking like 1100 1200 yes, a little more you'll see damn gotta give, them to, gotta give them something to look forward to yeah make sure you guys stay tuned for that because that's going to be crazy mustang on the dyno so what's this thing got um so this one is a uh, turn the fans off uh so this this car is uh stock 5.0 with a uh gen 5 whipple 3.0 uh sorry gen 3 2.9 liter whipple okay and um we actually just he was making almost like 800 and something horsepower Dang. so we, <laughs> we went to a bigger pulley so we're actually tuning for less power wow uh just to keep it more reliable Okay, I'm guessing it's on E85 and E85, stuff like that. Yeah, uh, definitely needs a, a double a double pump fuel system to go to that next level where it was at. Mm -hmm. um, and then same like mine. Similar, similar, similar. Like I mean, you gotta remember yours is already past 800. So the yeah. fuel system inside the Hellcats are actually really good. Like yeah. when you compare the Hellcat to the 50s and stuff, like. The, the Hellcats make more power than anything. Like, you know, companies try to compare. But, I mean, other than maybe, like, the new GT500, right? Mm -hmm. Everything else kind of doesn't make power the same. And even the GT500, yeah. once you start modding it, it still doesn't make power like the Hellcat motor does. Um, as reliably or as much. So, um, the Coyote, the good thing about this motor is it's in a very light car right true it has high rpms it revs to 7,000 rpms versus you know 6,000 6,200 6,400 for the um hellcat even though some cars we do have it higher than that but mm -hmm. um but yeah it it, it it's going to be more than enough this car only weighs like 3,400 pounds <laughs> yeah this you thing know, it's is a thousand pounds lighter than your car <laughs> and he's got big old stickies on the back too here we go all right, nice. It's that Gen 3 Whipple he was talking about. So let's see how much uh, how much power this thing will make. You got the goal of the final, we want 650. <laughs> he only wants 650? Only 650. I've never heard anyone say, I only want this much power. Um, you know what? Every once in a while you'll get somebody that's sensible. <laughs> you know, most people come and go, oh, I want a thousand horsepower. It could be a Honda Civic, bro. I want a thousand horsepower. Like the Evos that we built. Mm -hmm. We built a bunch of thousand horsepower Evos, thousand horsepower GTRs, thousand horsepower pro, uh, uh, pro touring cars, thousand horsepower trucks, track hawks, Hellcats, Corvettes, <laughs> Mustangs. But every once in a while somebody goes... 650 would be nice. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. I, <laughs> I, I, you, I personally would not be able to. If you've ever had to drive a Mustang, you'd understand it. Like, okay. the, the Hellcat is heavy and it makes it feel planted. It makes it safer. It makes it have better traction. It's, it's it, it is safer to drive, yeah. right? The, that's why they call these the crowd, the crowd killers. killers. They like Even to with break cars, loose. Like they just break loose. Similar issue with the Corvettes. You know, the Corvettes are like, you know, I had my uh, C7 Z06. I hated driving that car. Like, really? I, bro. <laughs> like, it was so tail happy that it's just like, if you like, you know, sliding around corners and doing all that stuff, you know, a yeah. la Jensen, you know, <laughs> me. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. But I race. You, you want race. traction. I yeah. need traction. If I'm going around a corner, if I'm, you know, drag racing, you need traction. And there's ways to do it, you know. The suspension is really nice for circuit racing style stuff. 
Um, the car is very balanced with the transmission in the rear. Um, it's just a handful, you know. Yeah. And then you have cars like the Viper, oh, worse yeah. than all of them, right? <laughs> so the Hellcat actually compared to a lot of those other cars when it comes to drag racing, at least, mm -hmm. is a lot better of a platform because it's planted. But those other cars have their pros being that they're lighter, right? Okay. And with that lightness comes uh, a lot of responsibility to keep the car <laughs> straight. So yeah, a, 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 a 650 wheel horsepower, this thing's probably gonna be close to 700 wheel horsepower, I'd say. But even in that, even in that horsepower range, this would be more of a handful than your car would be. Really? You know, even with 150 horsepower less, this thing that's a thousand pounds less yeah right yeah that makes sense so it, it, it's it's a pain <laughs> it's a pain crazy all right so we're loaded up we're gonna let it warm up and then we'll do the thing for sure <laughs> just about making power it's about knowing what you're doing so that you can give the customer a nice perfect smooth power band a relatively flat power curve as well so I mean we've made if we look back at some of these older dynos it's the first time you'll see this but look we've got um, let's go to here so this was 21 it's a lot of runs <laughs> um, typically we don't have to do that many runs but um, so on run 20 this is the run before this, right? You'll see we were at 667, right? Almost 600 foot-pounds of torque. Hmm. Um, then we'll go the run before that, which would be 19. Six ninety six. <laughs> so you just coming yeah, down so slowly, coming down, and slowly. And you know, slowly. so basically what we're doing is we're 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 leaning it out, but we're pulling timing out that we don't need. Um, all those type of things are going to make the car much more reliable. And unless the customer wants some crazy amount of horsepower, like let's say for instance, this is what we made on one of our earlier pulls. Wow. Right, <laughs> a little bit different. So 769, that was on the 325 pump, or uh, 325 pulley. So we upped that to a three, uh, 3875 pulley so that we can bring the boost down. And then when we were able to do that, then we could, we were going to determine whether we could pull the boost down, take the fuel out, add some timing to get him back up to the 650. But as mm -hmm. we were pulling it down, we noticed it was still at like 700. So, <laughs> and that's corrected. So it's really cold out right now. Yeah. So I guarantee you like all these numbers, if we did uncorrected, which is like the exact amount of horsepower that it made today since it was so cold. As we can see, we this is uncorrected, which means it doesn't correct the numbers for the cold weather. Um, 800 horsepower pretty much, 70, uh, 794.9 and almost 750 foot pounds of torque. So. <laughs> When the customer only wants 650 and you made an extra 150 horsepower, uh, you got to bring that down a little bit, right? Yeah. So that that's the main thing is we're we're about being responsible first and foremost. You know, people see that with your car. You know, yeah. It's super reliable, and there's I don't know anybody that's been out there abusing and beating the crap out of their car like you. But I mean, that was the main thing. You know, like we said, that was the risk that we took. You know, mm -hmm. twofold is. 
you know, when you have a client such as yourself, if we give you the, give you the car back and you blow it up the next day, <laughs> of course everybody goes, well, duh, he blew it up. Look how he drives it. Yeah. But in the back of their mind, they still go, oh, I don't know about overkill. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But the whole point that we wanted to prove was, one, as you saw with races, is our 850 package is faster than most people's 900 packages, right? Most definitely. Um, then at the same time, our packages are super reliable. You know, and, and, and we've got a lot of guys throughout drifting, you know, it's like everybody was saying, oh, a thousand horsepower, I had so many issues, and da da da. Well, mm-hmm. you did. Yeah, you did, because yeah, you, know. you didn't go to the right shop. <laughs> so, that, and that's the thing, is we, we spend a lot of time making these things reliable. We spend a lot of time being responsible. We'll pull power out. You know what I'm saying? Like, your your car is not on kill mode. You know, yeah. we've said that a thousand times. Yeah. Like, Jensen's car is not on kill <laughs> mode. Even while he's whooping on people and doing his thing and just ridiculous, it's not on kill mode. We could put one of our coded pulleys. We could put anything in there. We could turn it up. We could put you on the race map with the 114. Like, there's probably like another 30, 40 plus horsepower I could pull out of your car if I wanted to, mm. right? Wow. But for what we're doing and the reliability of it to make sure that the clients get, you know, your your customers, which yeah. are your, your fan base, they are able to actually see you driving around and enjoying it. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They want a thousand foot, a thousand wheel horsepower. I could do that easily, right? Yeah. Um, and but that'll probably eventually come. Someday, we'll get there. But... We'll get there, and that's what I'm saying. Is it's and you'll the, the coolest part that you'll notice is when you go from the 850 package to the 900 package, or even the 950 package, the car is going to drive the same. Mm. It drives better than it did stock. It's more responsive. <laughs> it's smoother. You actually get better gas mileage if you keep your foot out of it. So, <laughs> Uh, that's not gonna that's happen. That's not gonna happen at all. <laughs> you know, episode. Oh man, look how shitty my my gas mileage is. <laughs> Very next episode. So we're adding more parts on it to make more power. Like, yep, that was me. Yeah. So that you know that's expected, but that's the thing. Smiles per gallon, right? We're not doing this. Yeah. You know, we're here for a good time, not a long time. So that's kind of what we do. You know, I think that's a good example. We work on different platforms. Um, you know. We started off with LS. I feel like the LS. LS is like the base platform when it comes to Mopars. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, not Mopars, but muscle cars. Yeah. That's that's the platform everybody can do it. You know, it's just like Hondas. You know, everybody can work on a Honda. You know, everybody can work on an LS. And then from that, well, not everybody, but you, if it's a decent <laughs> shop, they have yeah. you know the skill. Because I mean, it's, it takes five bolts to put on a header. You mm-hmm. know, it's a few bolts to pull off a manifold. Yeah. You know it. Chevy did a really good job engineering that motor over these last years, even into the L. Well, even though the LTs are, that's a whole nother discussion. <laughs> but you know they did a really good job engineering that, and it's being utilized for so many years that it's it's still it's like that's the goat, bro. Like yeah. that's the goat. I know the Coyote motor, you know, is is on the up and up. You know the Hellcats are you know absolute beasts, but man. It's the, the, the bread LS and one. butter. The L- See, the LS is Michael Jordan, right? Yeah. Even if somebody is better, they're <laughs> never going to get the props, bro. Like, mm-hmm. nobody's ever going to say Kobe, LeBron, or KD. Any of those dudes are ever going to truly be considered better than Michael. Even if their numbers prove it, <laughs> even if they beat, if, I mean, if they played against him, those guys are like physical animals, right? Yeah. But, you know, the LS is the GOAT, man. The LS mm-hmm. is the goat forever. The goat will always be the goat. <laughs> so, you know, we are gonna go looking for some uh, some LS action drift car stuff too, and we'll, we'll we'll see what's up, man. So yeah, get it rocking. So yeah, as you guys can see, they don't always just work on Hellcats and bring the most power possible and try to squeeze the kill mode out of every single car. They focus on reliability, and you guys have seen that. I've, driven my car to and from sacramento i don't know how many times to sonoma at least i've been to three different drift nights at sonoma went to sac raceway stockton raceway i put a lot of miles and definitely not baby miles on this car already and it's it's holding up perfect i seen a comment i think it was either yesterday or the day before someone commented how come you don't have a check engine light <laughs> Like, you're not supposed to have a check yeah, engine like, light. <laughs> would all performance cars have check engine lights? I mm, do. No, yeah. sir. No, sir. There's a lot of good shops. You know, it's like I'm not here to act like I'm the best at anything. Like I and I and I hate that it even would come off that way. 
you can't even talk about you know you can't even talk about oh look Jensen's car for oh you're bragging it's like <laughs> bro like I'm not bragging like this is literally and this is what we do on a daily basis right yeah we put our money where our mouth is you know we go to the track there's people oh we're faster than oh okay we see him at the track now what <laughs> yeah, we we, we win or place high in every single event mm-hmm. and every single one you know it's just like they had a video it's like I people still be talking to me oh such and such shop builds fast faster track hawks or xyz youtuber has the fastest track hawk like bro you literally <laughs> watched a video of me setting a world record and you still so and so builds fat you don't like Come on, I, guys. I, should, I think the problem is that the humility allows people to think they just I'm can't just, accept it yeah like, yeah <laughs> just because i'm not rah 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 about it people just think that they could just talk nonsense on things and then it's like then you got to get to a point where you don't want to be like, yo, like, what are you talking about? Right? Yeah. So, but that's the internet. Like, you could prove people wrong a million times and they're never going to admit it, right? Exactly. They're always going to roll with their person. They're mm-hmm. always going to roll with this and that. They're and always it, right. It doesn't matter, bro. Like, I could put a car on the dyno and it's just, it's simple. It's like, how many times have we done videos on the dyno and I'm like, the car is going to make this much or should make this and much. And you're fucking spot and on. Right? Like <laughs> Dead on the same number. It's full one take. <laughs> car does this. Huh, customer wants 650 Here you go. Here's a 650 Like, mm-hmm. w- I've been doing this. Like, I'm, I'm not old, but I'm old. You know, it's like, I'm young, but I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. And I take this seriously. And I think that's for anybody. Anybody that, that, that works hard, anybody that has a craft and they want to be the best at it, they want to push, that's the first thing that you got to understand is along that way, everybody's going to doubt you. You can try it. You can prove everybody wrong and they're still going to doubt you. You mm-hmm. can show them to their face <laughs> and they'll still doubt you. Like, look, this is where I won and this is where I succeeded. Oh, and they're like, nah. <laughs> I had I had nah. one of our guys with a stock block, stock <clears throat> blower and his Hellcat running five eights. Um, in the one eighth, which is pretty much an eight second pass in the quarter mile, hmm. and still had people talking about, oh man, I don't know, my god, like no, bro, like no, like, like there's literally I can name on my hand the amount of vehicles or shops even that have produced vehicles for their customers on that level. We're not talking about shop cars, like I tell people, yeah. it's not even fair. It's like my track hawk that I'm building has a four, I guess the cat's out of the bag. It has a 451, <laughs> uh, a 451 uh, CC motor, which I think, which for sure is the biggest motor ever been put in a Trackhawk. And I think one of, if not no. the biggest motor that's ever been put into an actual street vehicle Mopar. Um, it's twin turbo, uh, 6870 twin turbos. Um, it's got a full- Jesus. Bro, it's got a full <laughs> custom, it's got a full custom, uh, intake manifold with the built-in intercoolers made by the guys over at demon um i mean the block has fire rings in it it has a custom valve train that allow it to spool the spin over seven thousand horsepower it's got you know it's it's set up to make over two thousand horsepower (laughs) um and on top of all that we're putting nitrous on it Mm. so it's it's a twin turbo (laughs) nitrous with direct port injection so like the the full drive train like we have i have brushless fuel pumps like for my fuel system it's not fair right <laughs> like if, if 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 you want to compare shop cars like i don't feel like that's a fair shop you know and yeah. I mean, if anybody ever called me out in the hellcat game bro <laughs> Like, Someone please call him out in the Hellcat dude, game. Like, I want to see what he would do. <laughs> I'm so petty, bro. Like I will. Like it's not even about money. It's about the know-how. Like we build grudge cars. We build literal mm-hmm. grudge cars that make thousands of horsepower. That's like me and my buddy JP. We talk about it all the time. People worry like, oh, who has the fastest nine-second, eight-second car? Who has the fastest six-second, eighth-mile car? Like, bro, we're building cars that go threes. You all right? That's like, ridiculous. And a lot of that stuff has not been applied to Hellcats, right? Hmm. There, there aren't a bunch of Hellcats running on M1 or M2 alcohol fuels, running with full carbon fiber or fiberglass bodies, one piece front ends, uh, back half tubular cars, like <laughs> full K, like Lexan windows, like like there's wow. the Epling car that's running like seven threes, it's like a full carbon fiber body. It's pretty much like not a pro mod, but it's going in that direction. Like that's 
what we do in the grudge racing world. That's what we mm-hmm. do. That street outlaw style stuff. Like, bro, like I, I, <laughs> I will completely gut and back half a Hellcat. It'll, it'll do the it'll, most. It'll, it'll weigh thirty five hundred pounds. Like it won't even be fair, right? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Is there's a knowledge. There's levels to what this stuff is. And right now we're having fun with street cars. I, I like having fun with street cars because once you get to that grudge level. It's 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 money over anything. You know, you got guys who got a lot of knowledge. We got my boys up here, the five three oh boys. You mm-hmm. know, those dudes do the most with the least. <laughs> like they like, and that's not even a play on their cars not being like up to par because they're all up to par. But they be smacking people that have triple the amount of money into the cars because mm-hmm. of the knowledge that they have and doing what they do, the passion that they have and doing what they do. That's and like, dope. that shows they're better than the, the exactly. competition. Like, it's like you drifting. With the Hellcat, yeah. right? It's like, bro, like, what kind of craziness could you do in an actual, like, angle kitted out, lightweight, 3,000 pound or less drift? Like, come on. Like, <laughs> this dude's out here drifting boats. <laughs> Big and boats. And killing it. And yeah. killing it. So, you know, that's really all it is, man. You know I me. Mean? I, I get on my rants, you know. <laughs> I ain't going to say sorry because I'm not sorry. I ain't, nah, not hell no. Nah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just, just... It's it's passion, you know. Don't don't. It's it's not. There's there's no there's no bragging. As you guys, I'm a humble dude. Like you know, this this is me every day. Yeah. Uh, but there's a passion to this, and if you don't have that passion to to defend what you do, then you're not even putting for, forth your best effort, right? Exactly. You know, and if you and the thing is, is everybody wants to be on top. People always go, "There's somebody always faster," and then that one quote always said, "Yeah, there is going to be somebody faster." Me. <laughs> because like while I'm building like that 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 nine four track hawk that we did, we have like four or five track hawks that have that same nitrous setup or bigger nitrous setup or bigger motor or bigger blower. Like we have faster track hawks here, huh. just on on hold. <laughs> and they, well, they're on hold or they're grudge guys that don't like race on the street type stuff. So mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, I t- like what are we really talking about you yeah. know so it's like when you still gotta people are still doubting what you do and you're like yo this ain't even my final form <laughs> you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like we're not even at maximum potential bro, like, not like, even not even close it's just like your car and that's why i joke and laugh it's just like because people don't really know what your car can do but i've i have the experience you know i've yeah. I've, I, I've had chevys dodges fords hondas you know that's 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 definitely the main thing is um you just want to make sure that when you're putting your best foot forward that it doesn't really matter if people don't take that seriously take yourself seriously battle against yourself because very rarely do people get their flowers right yeah a lot of people don't even get their credit till they die mhm right there's a lot of artists who used to be big and we've already forgotten about them the second they die, you're going to hear their songs like every, oh, man, I missed it. <laughs> like, bro, like everybody yesterday was talking about how that person was played out. They were never that good. And mm-hmm. all of a sudden, they're the go to get. Like, that's just society in general. So when you subscribe to that type of nonsense, the negativity that's in it, it's always going to keep you back. But when you don't care, you're like me. <laughs> it's like you can't tell me nothing. Because uh-huh. it's very simple. When people say, no, you're not, I say, show me. It's real simple. Yeah, exactly. It's really simple. Oh, we're faster know. than them. Show me the time slip. We're fast. Meet me at the track. <laughs> Prove you it. You know, it's like, Prove that's it. how we were growing up. It was like, even amongst our friends, like, mm. oh, no, I'll, I'll beat you up. <laughs> Prove oh, it. Oh, you're going to have to show me. Yeah, like, like... <laughs> then you throw them hands, uh-huh. and then you're cool. You're still, yeah. because it's like, I'm not here to guess. I want, okay, yeah. let's find out. I'm kind of curious. Like, <laughs> you got some hands, you know, hit them with the tray rack. You're like, <laughs> let me know (laughs) let me know (laughs) what you're trying to get into (laughs) you know but it's it's cool man and that that's really it so yeah we're gonna go uh go have some fun and speaking of drift car how many of you guys want to see me in an actual drift car comment down below let me know what you guys think and let me know what kind of car you guys would see me drifting like a real full cage built motor full suspension hydro e-brake uh angle kit all that stuff but that's pretty much the end of this video thank you guys for watching i appreciate it make sure you like subscribe comment share hit the bell thumbs up all that stuff make sure you guys go follow overkill performance on instagram turn up their uh their instagram for me and i'll see you guys in the next video Doses. <laughs>